All right, I forgot to tell the camera to start. I'm not going to say it because I'll stop doing it. Anyway, you know, it record was recording. I uh, wasn't recording because I forgot to give it command to record. Um, I've added this onto the uh, bridle and uh, the straps uh, for the uh, reins. And uh, these are not going to be cast like this. They're going to have to uh, make those uh, reins out of uh, bronze wire that they will run through a machine that will flatten it so that uh, it will look like reins. All right, I'll be right back. Time to play with some clay. All right, I'm putting a rope around the horse's neck. Now this would be used to, if he fell off the horse for any reason, he'd grab the rope out of his belt and uh, could control the horse without the horse running off. Now the rope will may be made out of twisted uh, bronze wire to make it look like rope. This is just uh, primarily just to show where it's going to go. I'm going to decide whether I want to keep this on here or not. Because, uh, I don't know. I've seen it on the horses that modern day mountain man reenactors use. And, uh, makes sense to me. I mean, the last thing you want to do is lose your horse out in the middle of nowhere with all your food and everything on the horse and the saddlebags. Okay, once again, I forgot to say record. And uh, to my command, my GoPros. And uh, see, I just mentioned the name. And my camera's both shut off. So you got to be real careful when you got a, com a ca camera that works on command. Uh, you got to be more careful not to say the wrong words at the wrong time or else everything stops. Anyway, I forgot to hit the record button on these uh, cameras or get them started. And uh, what I did was I just painted the uh, straps so that they match the color of the clay. And I do that uh, whenever I use monster clay. It just raises less questions in the long run when people look at the uh, finished clay. All right, I'm going to put a center line down the uh, neck of the horse. This is going to establish the center line of my, the mane of the horse. I'm going to start with the hair in the front and then work up and that's because it's going to be blowing forward and I don't want to start here and sticking stuff underneath what I've got there it's like building up shingles on a roof you you start from here and work up all right now I put texture in my mane and I show how to do that in my uh, instructional video on creating a horse. 
and uh, I've got a couple videos on that. Uh, one down the ridge line and uh, one creating a horse from scratch. And uh, if you want to check out my instructional videos down below in the uh, comments area, or not the comments area, but the uh, uh, information area below the video, uh, I've got a link to a, a review of all my instructional videos. All right, I've got the uh, main going here. I've uh, got it flowing down next to the neck a little bit because all this here would block the wind a little bit, but uh, there'd still be a wind coming up from underneath. And uh, I just got to try to show that. But anyway, I just layering on the uh, hair and uh, not trying to get over done on it but uh, I had it all sticking up and it just did not look as good as, as it does right now so I'm going to continue on here and I'll be right back Now, I'm not certain that this mane is going to turn out the way I want it. And I may end up doing this all over again. I've been known to do it. The mane is a main. The mane is a main design of this piece. If I screw up on that, the whole piece falls apart. And so I'm just trying to create a uh, design that works. All right, that's going to have to do it for today. I'll be back here tomorrow. And uh, then I'll work on the uh, tail and get that going. And it's, then that, on next week, I'll uh, start on the uh, legs and that and and uh, the base, and it should just about be done. All right, good night, everybody. That's uh, the clay as of today. Wow. I'm kind of liking it. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.